Hey everyone, welcome to the third Robo Wars tutorial series. Today I'll be showing you how to attach mounts and wheels to your robot gear motors so you can easily be well on your way to your first robotics platforms. So, what do you need? You'll need your modified drill gear motor with its left hand threaded screw. You'll need two mudguard washers, you can buy these at Bunnings, Mitre 10, Super Cheap Auto, those sort of places. You'll need one with a quarter inch hole, and another with a 5 16 hole. So this is Imperial. Uh, you can't really find metric ones anywhere, but they work fine. You'll need a 9.5mm drill bit, or a 3 8 drill bit. And you'll need one of these wheels, so these, we call these red wheels and you can buy them at Bunnings for six dollars each so you're going to need one of these per side and regarding your drill mounts there's heaps of different methods you can use to make mounts for your drills the easiest method by far would be to buy these 3D printed mounts from BotBits these are just a prototype but they'll be up on sale soon and they'll get you up and moving really easily I'll put a link to some tutorials on how to make other methods of mounts but I won't be going into that because it's quite difficult Regarding tools, you'll need a cordless drill fully charged. You'll need a bench vise or a G clamp or something which can clamp uh, one of these washers so they're quite small. And also, you need safety glasses so you don't get metal splinters in your eyes. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is you get your 5 16 body washer and put it into a vise. Then you need your 9.5mm drill bit, and we'll just be drilling this out to 9.5mm. Don't forget to wear safety glasses. And that's all it takes. So that'll let you put this down onto the shaft of the drill motor. Okay, so now we've got our mudguard washer drilled out to 9.5 millimeters. This will now sit nicely on the shaft of the gear motor. So what we'll be doing is threading this wheel, the black plastic hub, down onto the gear motor shaft. Now to do this we're going to have to hold this shaft in place so it doesn't just turn. Uh, what I can recommend is using a pair of vice grips like this. But what makes this even easier to do is I'll just grab this motor from over here. Is if you have a flat on your shaft, you can do this using a file or a angle grinder or something, and that will just let you grab it really securely and let you force that wheel on nice and tightly. You don't have to, but it does help. So if you're using these 3D printed mounts. What you'll need to remember is you need to put these on before you put the wheel on. And with these drill motors, they come with this flux ring or whatever it actually does. It doesn't really do anything as far as I can tell. So you'll need to remove this if you're using these 3D printed mounts. So it's pretty easy to remove, just twist it off. Just be really careful you don't pinch your skin between those two parts. And it comes off like that. So then you get your mounts and put them into place like that and I'll put the washer on and I'll clamp the shaft with this pair of vice grips which are very poor quality as you can tell And so the trick is to try to thread it on straight, not at an angle, because you want your wheel to, to be concentric. But that's going on quite nicely. And there you have it, so it's threaded on all the way down. And that's already pretty good, but what we're going to do now is get the washer with the quarter inch centre hole and put our left hand threaded screw down into the gear motor and get a screwdriver and tighten that up as tight as you can and there we go so that's absolutely low cost effective method to add wheels to your robotic platform so there you have it Two robot gear motors with wheels and mounts 
extremely low cost, extremely high performance, and perfect for any platform up to 15 kilograms. So for the next video, I'll be showing you how to wire up these. So we'll be using BotBits 85 amp ESCs, the TZ85s, and I'll be showing you how to attach those to your gear motors between your battery, your motors, and your receiver. So thanks for watching. We've got about a week and a half left of the Possible campaign, so I absolutely would love for you to keep sharing it around and getting it out there because we need to make just a few more hundred bucks before we can make this event happen, and I'm really looking forward to it happening. So thanks for watching, and see you later.